All right, so if we go straight on forward, let's take a turn and... Oh, oh, monster. I didn't realize that because I forgot I don't have a radio. All right, luckily you're, you're like the slowest, stupidest monster in the game because I have the slowest melee weapon in existence. So just uh, take some of that and now time to start stomping you. And dead. I forgot this isn't Silent Hill 3. We have to stomp monsters multiple times. They die usually in one stomp. With very rare exceptions. Right, heading back on our way. All right, let's. Oh, 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 oh! Line figure guy, he did give me a bit of a surprise. Probably because I'm still trying to use having my radio to help me all the time. You're a bit faster, but you're still very slow. So you should be no problem. Yeah. Oh, as long as I get you before you stop calling routes, get, get over here. Where are you? Okay, let me stop him before he gets out of the way. Maria's a lot slower than James. Uh, let's go over here and give the birthday card. Looks like it can't be used here, so I guess I just have to talk to him and see what happens. Oh, the door's actually open. And he is missing. This probably isn't going to turn out good. The fireplace looks like it's a stairway, but let me look around a little bit. There's a book here. It looks like a plant encyclopedia. Okay, okay. Is it like Akakia or Stacia or whatever? A genus of evergreen trees of the Mimosa tribe, or Mimosa tribe of the Pia family. Its tiny flowers are yellow or white and grow in clusters. Common varieties include the gum tree. The Akakia tree is a potent symbol of many religions across the world. In Christianity, it represents eternal life and mortal or immorality. In ancient Egypt, it is represented the purity and rebirth. While in the ancient Babylonian, it was thought of as the tree of the goddess or Ishtar and was a symbol of life. It was also a holy tree to the ancient Jews, who built the sacred ark of the convent or covenant from it and for whom it is significant a peaceful or signified a peaceful death and a release from their grief. I mispronounced a lot on that one, so I apologize. Let's go over this way and pick ourselves up. Oh for a second I thought that fog was like a shadow passing by. Ha. Huh. It was first aid kit. Give me a lot of healing items and other stuff, but so far it hasn't been that bad. There's a clock here. I guess it's broken. The needles aren't moving. I'm guessing this is locked. Oh, actually, it's open. Before I do that, I want to check out the fireplace. What is up with this fireplace? There's nothing interesting inside or above the fireplace. Really. I actually, I thought it looked like the fireplace went in deeper, so... I thought that was what I was going to be heading towards. Oh, health drink. There's another health drink there, too. They sure give me a lot of items. Alright. Over here. It's locked. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. I can't see them, but I'm stopping on things. Yep, it was one of those fucking bug things. Now it's unlocked. Oh, this is the outside door from here. Yeah. Oh, no reason to... Fuck, another one. I just go out, then there's another one. Just gotta stomp the fucking bugs things. And without barely even seeing them, they are now dead. Now down the hallway should be... <gasps> Is that blood? That looks like blood. Or nope, it's a monster hiding around the corner. Let me go through here first. I'll come back. You'll probably be easier. Come over here. I'm slow and stupid, but so are you. Okay, you got hit on me, but that's okay. I'll get a few hits on you before you get a chance to strike me back. Alright, now I'll just stomp on this son of a bitch. Over here we have... It's a vase of a lion statue. And I've got no use for those right now. You have use for them usually. Looks like it's broken. And which means the only way to go into is scary music hallway. Definitely is a very winding stairway to the basement. There's some form of monster around C1. Oh, there's one. Let's see, are you the only monster here? If I beat you, I'll be fine. There's gonna be another one. Luckily, it's just a lion figure, not something worse. Oh, geez. Alright. That seems to be the other only monster. Seems like Maria can be killed a lot faster than James. That's probably why they gave me more healing items. 
Yeah, she needs more healing items just to fucking heal. Oh boy, oh boy. Life goes on. So after I'm done playing Silent Hill 2 Born from a Wish, what I'm mainly going to do is I'm probably going to play something with some friends. And no, back. It was uh, it was offline for a second because I was fixing something with the internet. After this, I'm going to go and play probably some of friends and make myself a good old pasta dinner. Just like for me, guys, for no apparent reason. Anyways, back to the game. Let's see. Over here? Oh, there's actually an open door. Wait, is this right? No, no, this is somewhere else. Okay, this leads... That is one fucking long ass hallway. Now I'm gonna check the other rooms because this hallway is probably something important in it. But I want to check out the other rooms as well. I still have a flashlight, so okay, that's broken. Over here, it's broken. And is this broken too? Yep. See? Wait, wait. The pantry. I've not tried the pantry. I somehow expect this to be broken, but let's see. Okay. See, I apparently chose the right door before all the wrong doors. Because this guy apparently is very bad at taking care of his fucking everything. So we have a room to the kitchen here, which is broken. I should have seen that coming, but for some reason I didn't. Now a very long hallway. What's this? Nothing? Is that? No, that's bullets, I see. Revolver bullets. I got quite a few of those, so... I'm wondering how the scenario is going to go. Uh, this long hallway is kind of foreboding, but... Where am I going after this? And again, I guess I am looking for somebody. Hmm. Are they down here? It's just earnest. I wonder if this whole entire scenario just takes place inside this mansion. I hear it's not very long, so it's possible. There's a mop and bucket here. I don't really feel like clean anyway. Well, you yeah, know, that makes sense to me. You don't clean any other people's houses. Oh, of course. It's like they keep on giving me... Given that uh, everything about Maria is fairly weak... So far, like, her butcher knife is slow and not that powerful. Revolver I haven't tried using yet, and she does take damage a lot easier, but... There's nothing here I can use now. Alright. And inside the cupboards... No, there are two doors. And I thought that one was going to be locked, so let's try the other one. Another epic doorway. Oh, there's a save station here. Um, I guess I'll leave one right there and done and done with saving so uh, this door right here is this where I'm supposed to be going oh it's locked in the sense that I can open it which means the way to unlock it's probably in here uh oh creepy music kicking in oh okay hi you know I know we've shared some precious times together but get get back here I can barely see in this hallway Oh, I know that there's a monster in here. That's all that matters. There we go. So, oh, oh, it's crawling on the floor and trying to kill me. I see. Really use these healing items. Get myself in better health. All right. I'm stomping him when I get a chance. There you are. I did not mean to break through the door. I meant to kill that mother flipper. I, he's the mother flipper in my eyes, by the way. There he is. Luckily for me, he's fairly stupid. Seriously, this monster is being really stupid for some reason. I can bam all I want. Stop on it. If Maria was slower, I mean faster, she wouldn't have to fucking take so long just to take care of this one single enemy. There's apparently more enemies because the music's still going on. Let me go through here first. Knew it. The game was going to me through here. Alright. There are books on the desk. None of it looks very interesting. Alright. The bookshelf is lined with the complete editions of difficult looking books. I'm not very interested in any of that. I have to be all difficult, Maria. How about this ammo or book? Is this a book? It's a book. I thought it was ammo. Lost Memories. I have the strongest trust, you may even call it faith, in the miracle called Resurrection of the Dead. Upon the hill where the light descended, the beast intoned this song, with words of blood, drops of mist, and the vessel of night. I was trying to say a rhyme there, but it's just drops of mist in the vessel of night. The grave became an open field. The people wept in fear and joy at the reunion, but my faith in the salvation of Zushuplapa did not waver. It is also spoken of in the ancient legends. The original worshippers did not believe that death was the end, but that it was simply the path by which the deceased returned to nature. They also believed the process was reversible. There's something imprinted towards the bottom of the page. Did Ernest write this? 
What could it mean? Blood equals red, mist equals white, night equals black. Well, I'm betting he's probably trying to revive his daughter. If that's actually what's going on, that's kind of interesting. However, though, it's also probably part of a puzzle. But then again, blood, mist, and not... I mean, I can remember this without even writing it down. Blood is red, mist is white, night is black. Blood, mist, and night are three elements that are very, very common in Silent Hill games. Bloody areas, misty areas, and night areas. Anyways, let's see. Anything else around here besides a book? Oh, difficult. Oh, there's actually another door in here. And there's something about a clock. There's a clock here, but it looks like it's not running anymore. This won't do me any good. I could tell you the time if it was running, or you could use its parts, and that's a story for another time. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're breaking out of this door. Do you know a little girl named Amy? Why do you ask me that? This letter. To my dearest daddy. It's from a girl named Amy Baldwin. Your daddy? Yes. Where'd you find that? Up in the attic. Oh. What a fool. Now. It's too late. I finally understand why. <laughs> why she was there. Why she was holding that empty envelope when she... When she fell. Ernest. Amy. She isn't... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I reminded you. No need to apologize. You didn't remind me. I've never forgotten. Maria, some things we forget, and some things we can never forget. It's funny, I'm not sure which one is sadder. It's been ten years, but I still... Ernest, I'm sorry. I didn't know. No, it's, it's fine. Maria, that letter. I'll leave it here. Thanks. Maria? So... You must be... That's why... That's why you could see me. Huh? So perhaps that means that I can hope for a miracle as well. What do you mean? In the apartment next door, there's a bottle containing a white liquid. I don't know exactly where it is, but I know it's in there somewhere. I must have it. You want me to get it for you? Please. Why don't you just get it yourself? If I could, believe me, I would. But I... White? I'll open the stairway door. Ernest, do you really believe it will work? I don't know.
Well, that's okay. I don't mind fighting for an impossible cause. Anyway, it beats just giving up and doing nothing. Maria, thank you. Uh, now, this whole thing isn't nearly as subtle as the main game of Silent Hill 2, but I, I, I am enjoying it. The storyline isn't like anything... It, 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 I guess it's well executed more so than anything. It's not like completely original, but that whole scene... I found it to be cute and to all that. You think miracles really can happen? This is Silent Hill. Yeah. Maybe that's the problem. Oh, Maria. You think too much. I'm from here. This is my town. Anything else you have to say? You think Mir- No, that's the same thing. Alright, so heading back out, we apparently have to get a bottle of white liquid. And there's still a monster in this extremely dark hallway. So I better go in with my weapon all prepared. Oh, there he is. Going down. And I'll be dead in no time. Okay. Those things are a lot easier for Maria than the other monsters. There, there's still another monster here? Okay. Uh, I guess I'll try the few doors that are around here. Uh, there's a door down here in the playroom. And there's a door behind me. I'll try the door behind me first. This one's probably locked. Yeah, that one's locked. Let's try the playroom. Playroom should be down here. Oh, 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 that dirt. There's the monster. Seriously, this area reminds me so much of Resident Evil Remake. Am I the only one? Like the lighting and the wallpaper and the. Anyways, though, there's two doors here. Let's try this one first. And let's go over this way. This one. Nope, that means it must be upstairs. He did say upstairs. I just want to try the other rooms to make sure that there was nothing around here. That must mean that, yep, actually there's, the living room is locked, but I've been in there before. Oh, it's that door. Okay, now I'm just down this way, loops. Guess I'm going up here. God, it's dark in this segment. Guess I'm going over here. Uh, I can't pass through here, it's blocked by a wall. Is there anything else up here? No, it's apparently blocked by a wall. What, what the hell? He said he unlocked something by the door. What was he talking about? Yeah, I didn't think I'd break through there, but... Okay, let me go back down for a second. He said he opened up a room next here. What about this? That's broken. Oh, this door's now unlocked. Let's go this way then. All right, yeah, back here. Hmm. He said, oh, I think I know what door he opened. He said he opened up a door. He wants me to find a white liquid. What do I have currently in inventory to help me? Nothing. So where, oh, where is this thing that he wants me to find? I'll make a new save file, just right here. Alright, right there. Save and save a save -a. And now with that in hand, I'm going to check out the staircases around here. He said he unlocked the door next to the staircase, so the first one I can think of is this door right here. No, that's not it. Hmm. Was there anything around here that I haven't been able to check or was locked or... Probably so. Uh, I'll start by looking at the entrance hall. Uh, it's probably something that'll be around here, so let me just follow the path and check all the doors. And maybe I'll eventually find something. Sounds like the best form of strategy to me, not to mention it allows me to talk about some things. Uh, okay. Starters. Anything this way? Oh, I, I should check the doors behind me before I go this way. Uh, what I was going to say, though, uh, so, 
I wonder what Ernest meant when he was saying, oh, you're, that's why you can see me. Uh, that, I honestly, I, I can try and swing a guess, I guess, but I don't really have anything immediately in mind, if I'm to be completely honest. There's a few guesses I can have, but I have nothing set in stone of what might be the absolute response to what he was talking about. All right, so down here is, what is this too? All right, this is the moody way up to the attic, right. I don't need to go to the attic right now, so let's go take a turn this way. Uh, I mean, maybe because people who get trapped in Silent Hill are usually people whose souls are dark. Not like uh, they did anything wrong always particularly, but sometimes, yes, they have done something wrong. But Silent Hill doesn't really care as much about right and wrong. It cares more about what is personally on your platter or what, how you personally feel about things. And as such, let's see... Uh, Silent Hill has the deeper uh, effect to try and well, that's a whole other topic for the whole time. But then there's other people who are in Silent Hill who are there for other reasons, and usually it's linked to the people who are trapped there around the same time. What is this? According to my map, I am currently oh I went backwards. I should go this way. Which means forward is the way to go. Turn my camera, turn. Not that door, not that door. Which means the only way forward is this way. A white liquid, though. I will be honest when I say I have no idea what he's talking about. Uh, it should be somewhere around the kitchen. If I had to take a guess, it sounds like the most likely... Yeah, I wonder if... There's a door on the side of the house that I'm just noticing. I wonder if that has something to do with it. Probably does. I know these are all broken. Yeah, I don't think any of the doors that are permanently locked are going to be unlocked now. Let me try a few things. This isn't open. Maybe if I go outside. Yeah! If I go outside, that might be the solution, though. I think I have it. I think I might have the solution in my head. Might not be the right solution, but it's a solution all the same. Some form of answer I have formed myself. Alright. In here, there are two doors. Or one door. There's two doors over here. Oh. Yeah, there was a locked door over here, wasn't there? Can I go up this, this locked door yet? Let's find out. Yes, I can. This door. Oh, I don't have a map of this area. This was the door he was talking about last time. We're entering to a new part of the house. Let's see what's before us. Apparently, one of the Silent Hill's infamous lawn stairway downwards. Not as long, as I said, than some staircases, but there are new areas here. This is going to be locked. And I called that one a mile away. Now, which one of you two are open? You are. Is that an item? Some kind of plate on the floor. Amy Baldwin. She was loved too much by God. Seven years is not enough time. Interesting. Uh, before I take that path, is this door open? Nope. Marking all possible opportunities off my map. Which means we have one of those fucking you. Fucking insects. I don't know if there's even more than one. The all that was down here, insects. I guess it makes sense because this is a basement. And it's getting dark as freaking hell down here. But I'm just gonna keep on walking. There's apparently still more monsters here. And I don't hear any more insects, so it's probably something worse than a fucking bug. But it's probably just a line figure, one of those uh, leg things. Or nothing. There's because something up here which I'm not seeing. Still a long hallway though. This basement leads us to... Um, do, I, do I have this on my map? I don't have a map of this area. Alright, so we're still adventuring unknown territory. Which is kind of weird, because the map of the house looks fairly complete. I guess there's areas of this house that aren't complete, or are complete, just aren't part of the map. Secretly built. Seems pretty big for a secretly built area. Like, a secretly built room, that's acceptable. But this is like a whole other part of the house thing, and this is Silent Hill, so who knows? 
Uh, cut this. I should probably heal. Because that monster's about to kill me if I don't. Okay, run away out of his fucking acid trail. Stab that down. Oh, they're getting back up. Let me get him before I get me. I'm gonna fucking hit this thing until it bleeds. The monster's really patient in this. I ah, came both of them at once. This is called a combo kill. I should get bonus points for that. Surprised the crawler didn't crawl away, to be honest. Okay, so they're both dead. Also, this says, keep out of haunted mansion. I'm not sure if I'd call it a haunted mansion. Sure, there's maybe one ghost, but it wasn't really a bad ghost. Mainly, it's Silent Hill monsters around here. And those don't exactly clarify a haunted mansion. Oh, this door. Are we on the roof or something? Nope. This is an entrance to the place. And, oh, for a second I thought there was bloody footprints pointing out this way. But then I realized those were my footprints. Because I stepped all over the bloody enemies. Yeah, still attention to detail with that. So let's head on over here. Okay, we're now in a different part of town. Do I have a map of this area? Nope. This is a whole other part of Silent Hill that we have never been to. That's alright, that makes things more interesting, right? I think it makes things more interesting, but nothing in this corner of the world. Uh, so much graffiti. I think the graffiti is suggested to be painted mostly by Eddie. No, maybe this isn't Eddie's graffiti. I'm just saying that there, there was that sort of suggestion, Silent Hill 2, the graffiti in the apartments were, so I don't, I don't fucking know. Now where are we? I still wish we had a flashlight. And again, not having a radio and flashlight causes different things that Jane had to face. Taking care of you. Gotta sneak up and start doing my butcher knife thing. Saving all my ammo for a possible boss the scenario might have. I don't know if the scenario has a boss or not, though, if I'm gonna be completely honest. There's another monster here, though. I think that one of these doors. Oh, oh, there's another monster. Too slow, and that's saying something because Maria is definitely a lot slower than here. That's right, I'm gonna butcher knife him up, and before oh, hell, I have no, I have no luck grabbing those. Get, get over here. I'm just gonna stop when I'm dead. There we go. Is this door open? Nope. I should have figured it was locked. How about this one door I haven't checked over here? Everything's locked. Welcome everyone to the clearance lock sale. And I think everyone on Silent Hill jumped on the opportunity to make sure they get super, super locks and they will never open to anything. Oh, this is where I came from. Fuck you, respawn. Uh, let's go over this way. Nothing over there. Oh, there is something over here. A uh, kitchen? Got a first aid kit and a health drink and all those fun healing items for the whole family. And I still don't have a map of this area, so the more you know, this is some building off in the middle of nowhere, I guess. Well, kind of weird, but I guess it was nothing. Oh, white liquid. There we go, I got the light liquid he wanted. What does this say, though? Something's written on the desk, but it's too dark to read. Alright, what else is around here? Uh, lots of bookshelves, I guess. Why is the light wick liquid in the middle of nowhere? Kind of afraid of what this is suggesting as well. Actually, wait a second. I know this place. It took me a second to realize what this is, but this is this is the apartment. Yeah, this is the apartment from Silent Hill 2. Save this. this I, I recognize this exact room, in fact. This is the room that James goes inside. It took me a few moments to fit together what this is, but this is the exact room from the apartment. And yes, this room was completely empty in Silent Hill 2. And I was wondering, why the fuck is this room all empty? But now I know. Apparently, this room was empty because Maria took stuff from it. Yeah, this is the apartment. Now my perspective on this place has completely changed. Now we've figured it out from this room, because this room was also in Silent Hill 2. It's just a small little area from the Silent Hill 2 campaign. Line figure, excuse me, be patient. Except everything's closed in here. Turn this over. What'd this door say? Can't get the door open. All right, so it's just as I thought. Uh, this is the area now from, yeah, and this is the staircase in the apartments. 
And that was the door that was locked. Now I've got into perspective where I am. There's going to be nothing up here, but I'm going up here anyway. Oh, this door will actually open. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting it to let me in because... Uh, can I go up to... Yeah, no, this area is still blocked off. I, I'm now intrigued because I actually recognize... It took me a little bit of time to figure this out. There's a note here. Ah, uh, it's the apartment map. Cool. I already got the white liquid, though, so I guess I don't really need this map too much. But I would like to check all the doors to make sure there's nothing like a secret here on the second floor. It'd be cool if there was, but I guess we're about to find out. Going this way, checking the door. I uh, dodged the monsters, they're not worth my time right now. Most of them are easily dodgeable. Oh, this room is actually open. What is this? Oh, this is the room with the vault. Oh, gee, okay. And some other things I don't, don't think I want to deal with right now. Excuse me, monster ruse. I actually do not remember this room, but I don't think I want to spend too much time in here. Didn't see anything interesting there anyway. According to my map, there wasn't much in there, so it's just got to try 202. Alright, now let's turn ourselves around. Dive some more monsters. I didn't try the door across from the hall, so I'll try this now. Oh yeah, looking here, anything in here, nope sirees. Jump back out, dodge those fucking bug things. That, oh, that's a that's good touch, because that's the gate door that's actually locked in Silent Hill 2. And the door here, okay. We're going to make a rush over here, oh, yeah, there's nothing up here besides one room. Oh, actually, why is this open? This is the room where you fought Pyramid Head. I'll head here later. I need to return the red liquid to him. The white liquid. I'm not sure if it's going to change anything, but I'm curious. Because over here should be the path that leads to this door. It's going to probably be locked or something. This should take me to the alley that runs through the park. But first, I'd better take care of my promise to Ed Ernest. Alright, well at least they made that path open, I guess. That's all I want. I think I know why that path is why this area is open now. Because I need to end up where uh, I find James in Silent Hill 2. But I shouldn't do that until after I've met the guy. That That is definitive. I wonder if there's different endings whenever I give him the liquid or not. Because I was about to head off to the area where I would eventually meet James. So let me head over here. And not through there. Head back. I should head back to where uh, I can meet the guy and give him the white liquid. Now there's monsters around here again. Excuse me, monster ruse. We're going back into the haunted mansion. Yep, I'm going to ignore the monsters. Head back downstairs. They've definitely repopulated or whatever it is they do in the spare time to make them renumber themselves. The music down here is just supposed to sound spooky, though. I don't actually think there's any monsters. I just don't see any. Break back out. Alright. That's locked, which means... Staircase just for me. I'll make an extra save file in case there's two different endings I can obtain. Now I've got myself all curious if there are or are not. Choose this. Mm-hmm. All right, break out to meet the other guy and give him the white liquid. He should be in this door. And light liquid is yours. White liquid. Thank you, Maria. That's the only item I couldn't get myself. By the time I found out about it, I could no longer leave this house. So long. Yes, but will... Maria, the gods are here. You know it too. You were born in this town. I'm not sure God is the right word. Do you believe in fate? Not really. That's fine then. Ernest, 
Can I open this? This is a dead end. There's nothing beyond here. I know. So, what if I had said I believed in fate? That James. He's a bad man. James. for the you that isn't you. Because he's kind? Do you know something? Yes. Maria, you're... Anyway, that's just what you think. You don't really know anything. That's fine. Okay. No, you're not. Do I look like your girlfriend? My name is Maria.
I should have guessed they're gonna use Love Plasm for uh, the credit theme. There's actually one thing I want to check before I call this off. Let's see. Oh, we. I know how sound two goes. Okay. Five times total time. Uh, total damage and rate two. Your rank no rank apparently except for green. All right. Okay. Save clear data. I don't know why I need to save clear data of that, but there is one other thing I want to check, which probably will only take me a few seconds, but I'm going to still check it. Uh, quickly, continue game. Uh, as I said, press return to continue. Oh, I meant to say load, right? Oh, I thought it was nice. I mean, it wasn't like anything huge. It's what people had said. It's kind of short. But then again, it was just a little small additional thing, so I understand. And it does give Maria some backstory, which is nice, because uh, now I'm kind of convinced that Maria is part of Mary too, because the whole theme of Ghost in that part, and the reason why he could see her was because she's probably dead, or part of that town or something. There's still multiple ways you can read into it, but yeah. Uh, my per current theory on what Maria is, uh, she... Hmm, I'm trying to determine. I think she's either part of Mary's soul. Yeah, she. No, you know what? She has to be part of Mary's soul because she knew about Laura. And James didn't know about Laura before this game. So it's not... I don't think she's part of uh, James' imagination of what Laura should be like.